Revelation chapter 2, 1 to 29. And unto the angel of the church in Ephesus, write these things, say, He that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hath found them liars, and hast borne, and has patience, for my name's sake has labored, and hath not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except they repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath done here, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write these things, saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know the works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that he may be tried, and he shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. He that overcometh shall not be heard of the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write these things, saith, He which hath sharp sword with two edges, I know the works, and where thou dwellest, even where Saturn's seed is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hath not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my martyr, who was slain among you where Saturn dwelleth. But I have few things against thee, because thou hast them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So has them that also hold the doctrine of Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the, and in the white stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. And unto the angel of the church in Titeria write these things, say, the Son of God, who hath, his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. I know thy works, and service, and charity. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works. And the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have few things against thee, because thou suffereth that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself, a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of, of, of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into bed and them that commit adultery with her in the great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which said the rents and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Tituria, as many as have not known this doctrine, and have not known the depths of Saturn as I speak, I will put upon you none other burden. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, 
To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the wells of a porter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto churches. <laughs> 